So we have a question today by uh, Hu Kyu Kyoko. <clears throat> Find new entries in a list. So her question, his or her question is, I have an inventory price list that updates daily from a CSV. So every day the inventory count and price change. While the product identifiers remain constant, except for when brand new products are added. When a brand new line item is added to the list, I would like to be able to extract it with a formula. So the formula is saying find a new item and return its identifier. I can keep a copy of the list as of today in another sheet and compare it against that. There may be multiple new items so it needs to be dynamic for however many are new. So I have a sort of a work around um, and 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 maybe uh, who Q Kyoko will let me know whether it will work for uh, this purpose or not. So what I have done is I have created a running product list, right? So this is uh, this is uh, this this list will will be updated every day based on the daily product list so so I have also created um, uh, two daily product CSV file so so this is the uh, day one so you have uh, apple and orange <clears throat> right and then I have also created uh, day two right we have uh, we have more products in day two, right? So let me close these two daily products file, right? Without saving, both are in CSV. So what I do is um, I create a new sheet, right? So this would be our daily product list, right? <clears throat> and then I connect it to um, the daily product CSV file. So what you do is, um, I think, uh, let me see, data, right? Connection, right? Then you click add, press OK, right? And then you browse for more, right? So go, we go to the folder that we have uh, that has that have that has uh, our daily products CSV file. So let's say we are doing day one, right? So click on daily products one CSV. Click on open, right? So just set up your delimiter. So my data has headers, right? And set as comma. Right, next then finish then close right then you click on refresh okay what you do you go to existing connection now right click on your daily product uh, connection right click on open Right. Uh, then, uh, so you you want to uh, you want to extract the data and put into uh, cell A one, right? So click on click on properties first, right? Then uh, just play around with uh, these uh, external data data range properties if uh, it doesn't work for you. Um, so what we want is uh, maybe refresh data. When opening the file, and then um, then uh, this is very important. Um, you over write with existing cells. Over existing cell, existing cells with new data, right? And then this is also very important. So you need to take this fill down formulas in columns adjacent to data, right? I will show you the reason why. Right, then uh, now you press uh, OK. Right, so now you have uh, 
this daily product uh, daily product one uh, data so what what you do is you want to know which uh, product is new right so you do a uh, if if uh, n a right you will look up your daily product right and then you look up for uh, this uh, list of running product list right and uh, you just press one false uh, you need another one I think oh no sorry so if it's false right so it's you should say new product if you can't find it on the running list I hope this works All right so it works because uh, in the running product list you have apple and orange right and then uh, and then in the running product list actually you don't have uh, orange right so so you do a filter right so so this okay this this uh, so you have an orange as a new product so daily right you just you just filter right new product right then you cop copy your orange into your running product list right uh, bear with me so so what what happened if it's a day two right so you you op okay let me close the file right and save first right on day two right you open up your running uh, product list same file right it asks you to it asks you whether you need to enable content just enable contain now it will ask you right what's your second daily product list right so you just simply click on the, your second second daily product list right you click on import see so it will automatically refresh right what are the new products that you need to include right into your running product list so so this is very smart it will it will auto fill the formula uh, that is why in the uh, connection just now right in the connection just now in the properties Yeah, not here. Maybe here. Yeah, when we were creating um, the data range just now, we tick this few down formulas. I'm not sure why it's not ticked now, but but actually, don't don't touch it anymore because it it was working just now, right? So. So there you go. This is this. Hopefully, this answer your question. So what you do is, right? You just filter new product, right? Then you just copy this all this new product, and then to your running product list, and then you have your updated running product list, and then you can save this and use it for the next day. I hope this uh, answer your question. Um, I know it's not perfect, right? Maybe you want to, f you don't want, you want to skip this step of uh, of of not uh, skip this step of uh, selecting new product. But but I think this is a good way to keep updating your running product list. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if it, it doesn't. Uh, if it does, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, um, I will I will answer more Reddit questions when I uh, when I have time. Okay, thank you so much for watching.